We live in an attention economy and sometimes it's very difficult and challenging for content creators, for internal communications to get the most relevant and newest content noticed and also read by the end users. In the past, when using Sharpen on premises, it was easy. We had a script editor, we could easily add JavaScript to get pop-up windows. But now on Sharpen Online, Microsoft 65 is nearly impossible. The good news is there is a new tool called Power Pop-Ups for SharePoint. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through the installation, show you how it works, the biggest value. Stay tuned. If you do a research about SharePoint Pop-Ups on the internet, you will easily find two blog posts which are extremely helpful, but all point to the same main issue here. It only runs on SharePoint Classic experiences. It runs on SharePoint on-premises or SharePoint Online Classic. In our cases, we would like to embed it into SharePoint Modern Team sites or SharePoint Modern Communication sites, and that's tricky. All approaches which you can find on blog posts are recommending to use the SharePoint model dialog, which you can find here on the official Microsoft uh, documentation. Long story short, all classic SharePoint. The other blog posts mention it as well. You can do it using Bootstrap, but it doesn't work together with SharePoint Framework. So let's try out how the solution here from Apps 65 works called Power Pop-Ups for SharePoint. Button download from App Source. And get it now. Or Power Apps catalog. Jump here to my sales and marketing site and just click on edit. Here you search for power pop-ups, demo, text, to play around. That's now a very interesting part because you go directly into the configuration of the web part. You can load default values. And here, first thing, when should this app trigger? It should trigger when with the button or with link or by an image. You can also go here deeper into the content configuration. Let's assume you would like to work with a pop-up trigger as a button. And you can also define the button text. Let's call it open pop-up. Then there is the more ways to location and configuration. Pop-up size in pixels or in percentage. There's also a pop-up source, like a rich text editor. And left button, you see also the inner content configuration right here. You modify this and little animation of content. So I've got a huge list of content which I can also animate in here. A rotate in animation, slide content inside the pop-up. That's the way how you can literally get attraction and more awareness about your content. We can also add our pop-up application here to the lookbook. Currently I'm using perspective. I'm going to edit it now and Create and add a pop up to the news. Again, very easy steps. Just click, and here we are. Or we can add it to another place here on the brand new lookbook around Pride. Here's some Pride news which are super important and need to be highlighted. Then I just go here. Okay, let's create here some new content, update it. And open the pop up. Uh, latest news around Bright Parade in London. Okay, now we are here in a modern communication side. I'm going to add something here to the Viva connections part. And the idea is of this pop up here to auto open and also auto close and redirect to a new website. So just add some new fresh content here. So here, there are many ways to use different rich text formats. Just take whatever you would like to do. Okay, that should be fine so far into the configuration of this app. And the idea is to use a pop-up type called auto open pop-up. I'm going to add the URL where it should go to. Here we are, I'm going to apply it to publish everything. Voila, here you can see that it automatically opens the pop-up and after 
a few seconds, it's going to redirect myself when I'm closing it to the website. Okay, let's wrap up and summarize. On the one hand, the Power Power Ups application or pop up Windows and SharePoint on premises or in the cloud, very easy to use. Just use default settings, standard configuration, and it will work. But it's by far the most advanced solution and the only one who runs a modern communication site and modern team sites. It offers you a lot of flexibility with advanced settings. There are more than 30 and plus animations, more than nine positions, how to use your pop up. Fully runs on SharePoint framework to get UK based customer support. Please consider also to watch my video about the image map tool for SharePoint Online.